Absolutely, Rob. According to Russell Beckman's attorney, this case is about First Amendment rights of free speech. The Bears disagree. The judge, meantime, expected to issue her ruling any time now in advance of the Bears-Packers game on Sunday. <laughs> Russell Beckman shot this video from his phone as he stood on the field when the Packers came out of the locker room before their game with the Bears three years ago. He was dressed like this in full Packers garb. This is America, last I checked. To Beckman, that means he has a First Amendment right to show his support for his team. The Bears, however, say otherwise. They told him he is not allowed on the field for this weekend's game if he wears Packers gear. So Beckman filed suit against the Bears' owners in federal court. George McCaskey does not need to protect Bear fans from the likes of me. We're not only fighting for Mr. Beckman's First Amendment rights, but anybody who walks into Soldier Field, whether they're a Chicago Bears fan, a Packers fan, or a fan of any other team. Attorneys for the Bears left the courthouse without comment. In court, however, they claim they are a private business allowed to dictate a dress code. Beckman's attorney says Soldier Field is owned by the Park District and paid for by taxpayers. During the week, Beckman is a high school teacher from Green Bay, but on Sundays he becomes a Packers superfan. So much so that he bought the Bears PSL and season tickets just so he could go once a year to the Bears Packers game. I love the rivalry, and I think what the Bears are doing is diminishing this rivalry, and I think it's just, it's just stupid. Well, Beckman says he plans to be at the Bears Packers game this weekend and on the field before the game, regardless of how the judge rules. If he's not allowed to wear his Packers gear, he says he has another outfit in mind, but that'll be a surprise. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.